Hey everybody and welcome to the Truck King YouTube channel. So right beside me, 2022 Tundra. You know, the last time this truck was new in 2014, we took a pair of them up to Labrador on an epic road trip. And since we knew this one was coming, we've been bugging Toyota. So yes, we are going on an epic road trip again, but this time Labrador, no, that's old. We're going to the Arctic and we're gonna tell you all about it. Undefeated. So how did the Labrador trip come about? Well, it was all about a press trip. So in 2014, Toyota Canada brought a whole bunch of journalists down to Texas to test out the new truck. Well, dad was one of them and they took him out on an off-road course. Well, you see the kind of off-roading we do. This off-road course was basically a gravel road. So at the end of the day, all dad could do was make fun of the executives. And there was one executive at Toyota Canada by the name of Stephen Beatty, who stepped up and said, okay, Howard, if you're so tough and you love off-roading, where would you take the truck? And dad had just finished reading about the Trans-Labrador Highway, much of which is not paved. So he said, I would take it up to Labrador. That's one of the last unpaved roads here in Canada that stretches for hundreds of kilometers. Stephen Beatty said, all right, what are you waiting for? Let's go. And that's how the entire trip was born. Now the purpose of the trip is simple. We documented everything that happened. We talked about the fuel economy, of course, the comfort of the trucks. The big reason we wanted that old 2007 was to look at an old Tundra versus a new one to see how reliable an old truck was. And realistically, we only had two issues on that trip. Fuel economy, you can see here, we couldn't make it between towns, so we actually had to bring jerry cans. And then number two, we actually knocked an ABS sensor off the old truck just because the road was so rough and uh, so muddy and, and deeply rutted out. But honestly, that wasn't really a fault of the truck either. So that was kind of the point. Go run a really tough, rugged road, take in some beautiful scenery and test the trucks along the way. And guess what? We're going to be doing it again. Now let's talk about our upcoming trip. So we are going to leave from Tacoma, Washington in the Northwestern US, and we're gonna to go to the furthest drivable point in Canada, that is Tuk 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 in the Northwest Territories on the coast of the Arctic Ocean. Unlike last time, we're not gonna take an old Tundra. This time, we're just gonna take two brand new Tundras. One of them is going to be a bright orange TRD Pro with the hybrid powertrain. The other one, a green TRD off-road with the long wheelbase because it has that long bed option. This is gonna give us the chance to test out, of course, both new Tundra powertrains. Plus, the TRD Off-Road is based on an SR5, so it's a more basic truck, smaller screen inside. The TRD Pro has the big screen and the digital gauge cluster. So we're also gonna have both interior layouts and we're gonna be spending a lot of time on the road so we can talk to you about interior comfort and how those two stack up. We're gonna do our best to document everything along the way that has to do with both of these trucks. And besides that, the area that we're going, of course, is absolutely gorgeous. And there's a reason why we're going at the end of April. We could have gone in June or July and it would have been a nice sunny trip, but we want some of that rough weather. By the time we get up there to the Arctic, we want it to still be the Arctic. And uh, I think at the end of April, we're gonna get some of that mushy, rainy weather. And that should also help to test these trucks. Now we can talk some specifics on the route. And hey, if you're on the West Coast, if you live in BC, please reach out to us in the comments because we are gonna be stopping at four dealerships along the way to meet up with Tundra owners, maybe get their stories and have them take a look at this brand new truck. So the four dealers that we're coming to are 
Open Road Toyota in Richmond, British Columbia, Squamish Toyota, of course, in Squamish, BC, Glacier Toyota in Smithers, British Columbia, and the final dealership is Whitehorse Toyota up there in the Yukon. So hey, if you live close to any of those four dealerships, stay tuned to the channel because we will put out specific dates when we will be there, and then you can come out and say hello and check out the new Tundra. Here is the specific route. So we head north out of Tacoma on Interstate 5. Then out of Vancouver, we take the Sea to Sky Highway, Highway 99, up to Highway 97. Cut west on Highway 16, and eventually back north on Highway 37, which takes us all the way up to Whitehorse. Then Highway 2 out of Whitehorse takes us north to Dawson City, where we catch the famous Dempster Highway, which takes you to Inuvik. Finally, the recently completed Inuvik to Tuktoyaktuk Highway completes the route. This entire run is 4,028 kilometers, which is just over 2,500 miles. Now the last part of the route, Inuvik to Tuk, Dad and I were actually lucky enough to run this road back in 2018 when Chevrolet brought us up there to test out the Silverado. This is a gorgeous part of the world, really defined by its water. There are small lakes, rivers, creeks, and tributaries everywhere. So there's a whole number of bridges on this new road as well. Previously, Tuktoyaktuk was only accessible by an ice road in the winter time, or of course, by an airplane year round. And this right here is our destination, the Arctic Ocean. I'm excited to get up there once again and bring you guys along for the ride. Now you know the two trucks we're taking and where we're going. The most important part is that you get involved. So please go into the comment section and start leaving your questions. What do you want us to answer while we are out there on the road? Uh, we're probably going to do this entire drive over maybe seven or ten days. We're going to try to take our time along the way and see some of the sights, maybe do some cool off-roading. So if you have tips too on where we should go, again, leave them in the comments. We want to do our best to include you guys, the viewers, on this trip. We're also going to be trying to go live from the road, so watch out for those live broadcasts. And I already mentioned this, but the Dates are not set yet, so that means please stay tuned to the channel because as soon as we have all those dates locked in, we will share them with you. So that's it for this one. As always, leave me that comment. Let me know what you think of the Tundra and what you want to know about these new Tundras. As always, while you're down below, don't forget to hit like, hit subscribe, hit join to become a member, and then come right back here to Trucking to see what we're testing.